Welcome back friends and today I'd like to go over this Tai Chi form called Fair Lady Working at Shuttles and we're going to do it two times it's going to be Fair Lady Fair Lady Working at Shuttles right side and then Fair Lady Working at Shuttles left side and we'll go from the step up and extend left arm There you have it, friends. This is a little, a little, just a, just a little bit more complicated than the previous move. That was step up and extend left arm. So I'll face this way, so you can see at a different angle. This, like I say, it's a little more complicated because you have a lot of hand movement and uh, footwork involved. And a few things to remember is that when you're, when you're transitioning from foot to foot, that you want to, again, grab the, the ground with your toes. And they call it like the, the tiger's paw. But more of this is going to be like the tiger's foot because your toes are going to represent the claws and it's going to claw into the ground so you want to squeeze basically you're you're using your toes to squeeze into the ground and this is going to give you better support more balance and control in your during in your footwork so I'll face this way And the breathing is that when I'm doing the circular motion, I'm, I'm thinking that my, I'm opening up, since my arms are in a circular motion, my chest cavity is open, so therefore I want to open up my lungs too. So I'm inhaling and exhaling when I'm finished here because it's it can get a lot it can get a little complicated with the breathing but I just want to try to keep it simple so when I'm thinking that I'm when I'm my, my arms are away my chest is open so I want to inhale and exhale with the finishing move and very important to you want to relax the shoulders and relax the elbows when you're doing the circular motion. It shouldn't be forced when you're doing a, the circular motion. It should just be a nice, natural feeling. And your shoulders, again, that's going to be the, the important part on this when you're doing the circular motion is that it's gonna, your shoulders need to be relaxed. And when you're doing the strike, it needs your shoulders needs to be relaxed also, because if they're tense and locked up, it's gonna it, you're not gonna be able to execute the movement as efficient as efficient as it should as it can be. So therefore, you want to relax the shoulders. That's very important. So I'll face this way.
Now, you, the footwork, you can touch with your toe and then push out again to, to help with your balance. But once you practice, and I know you'll get better with the practice, you won't have to touch down with your toe to do this move. It just takes practice, but I know you can do it. So, again, very important is remember to grasp the earth, and that's without practice and just practice of the movement of the footwork and the hand. You won't be able, you, you won't have to always touch down with the toe and then stepping out and you want to practice and once you get better you like I said you won't have to touch down with the toe and you'll realize that you'll have better balance once you can transition without touching your toe onto the ground so there's a few things uh, to remember, but I know you can do it. Until next time, friends. Oh, and that was, like I say, fair lady working at shuttles, right side and then left side. And until next time, friends, have a great day.